So a few months back, I uploaded a game to Roblox called Larky of Ukraine. If you play Roblox FPS games or if you read BBC News articles, there's a big chance that the name Larky will sound familiar to you. So you're probably wondering why the hell BBC News, what, that, what does that have to do with anything? I'll get to that later. So basically, War on Larky was a simple ACS game that I made uh, in September 2022. It was using RCM ACS, like some goofy uh, ACS system. The map looked pretty decent. I added some nice models, some cities that looked like Ukraine. Uh, it was a snowy map. It, had a, it was fast paced, it had like cool spawning systems, all that, all that. Um, so in the beginning, the game did pretty okay, like a few players here and there. But the game really started to take off when I got some, uh, when some videos went viral on my TikTok. Uh, for example, these videos here. Yeah, so somehow, I don't know how, but they average, they managed to get like a lot of views, and that's what got a lot of exposure to my game, like my game really got popular at that point. My game clocked up like 90,000 visitors in the first two weeks of it being live, and then at some point after those two weeks, the game completely disappeared, it got banned, and not only that, the game got banned, the map, the, the uh, Roblox Studio game got banned, as well as the group holding the game so uh so everything was gone basically so you know after two weeks of like working on it i think oh shoot it's a bummer but uh you're probably wondering why it got banned exactly well that's because i added ukraine in the title which was really dumb if you don't know i had a game before lark eve 2 that was called ukraine war that was my first game it took off too but the moment it hit like 100 players the next day it got banned because like roblox saw it getting bigger and you know you can't you can't have Ukraine war games on Roblox. Roblox just doesn't accept that. I guess it's like a, a snowflake company, whatever. But um, yeah, unfortunately, it got banned. So I started a new game called Lurkiv, and I tried to remove the Ukraine aspect to it. I thought if I just added Ukraine in the title and I didn't add any flags or anything or nothing to indicate Ukraine or Russia in the actual game, I wouldn't get banned. But adding Ukraine in the title was like a risk that could destroy destroy the game or it could like help the game a lot because ukraine is amazing for keywords so if you search up ukraine war my game would come up first which was really important uh for the game at the time anyways uh it, it ended up destroying my game because that's the reason why roblox uh banned larkiv ukraine because there was ukraine in the title it was a dumb decision but you know you learn from it but uh yeah anyways it got banned and so for a few days i was like bummer it sucks but uh but something really unexpected happened in the following week so if you didn't know my game got featured on the front page of bbc news yes you heard that correctly british broadcasting uh forgot the last one but yeah it was featured on the front page on like the headline thingy like when you open basically when you click on tech you'll see my you would see my game now it's not on there anymore because it's not hot topic it's been like a long time but uh yeah here are some images of it being on the on the front page. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I thought like it was really it was a really big shock. Like why would this one Roblox game that only gets like averages like 80 to 100 players, why would this suddenly be on BBC? And to be honest, that's a question that I really want to understand myself. Like you would think that there are way more important things going on in the world. But I mean, BBC, of course, it's a company that needs to in somewhat way entertain and i don't know it's hard to say this but inform form their users so i guess it's content if you know what i mean but um the person working at the bbc that wrote the article was called joe tidy uh i talked to him uh in person after the article came out talking about what happened and stuff of course the article was kind of a hit piece on the game but he he was respectful to me i was respectful to him so i, I respect him for that and um so yeah if you go t if you go see the article i left the uh link in the description if you read the article you'll see like roblox the title of the article is roblox removes meat meat grinder ukraine versus russia game it's called meat grinder because basically i put a fast paced spawning system so instead of typical fps milsims where you spawn from one base uh and the other team spawns on one base and they have to clash onto each other on this huge wide map i just made it fast paced so you can just directly spawn into the battle area which made it really fun, in my opinion. One of them called War on Lark Eve, which is my game, was showcased to users in the Roblox Discovery section. Na na na. Clocked up to 90,000 plays. Na na na. Roblox said that both games violated the uh, TOS. Basically, that means that it, because it had Ukraine in the title, 
that's why it uh that's why it violated terms of service i think if i didn't uh, if i didn't put ukraine in the title i would have had a decent chance on not getting banned because there are other games on roblox too that are about the ukraine war but um since they do not have any indication of being of being of being a game about the ukraine war roblox doesn't ban them and usually in their description they would say like this is a fictional game based in 2069 or whatever um so yeah the main idea of the article was that like this game is a disgrace making fun of uh making that my game was making fun of the people in ukraine or not making fun of but like disrespecting in a way the people suffering in ukraine as they they're making like they're pointing out that i was selling the game was selling upgrades to weapons in exchange for robux's currency robux if you actually play roblox you'll know that any game will have game passes no matter what game you play it will have like 100 percent chance it will have game passes so it's not like i was war profiteering or anything like that it was like so it's kind of exaggerated so if it to be honest to sum it up it's really an exaggerated uh article so to non roblox players it would be kind of like interesting but for a roblox player like the viewers uh my subscribers they would probably think like what in the world did was the bbc headquarters thinking when they published this because this is just a joke which kind of is but i mean it is something but yeah whatever so yeah they basically featured like, pictures of my game in-game playing of uh of the game page basically what happened these bbc agents or these bbc reporters were basically playing my game before the game got banned secretly without even like me knowing that there were bbc reporters playing in my game and uh, they were basically like, they just, the game caught their attention somehow. I have no idea how. Probably probably from the TikToks because I blew up so much on TikTok. So so the TikTok videos were probably shared to someone and that someone probably shared it to the uh, BBC reporter or something like that. Like somehow it got to them. I wouldn't be surprised if it was through TikTok. And uh, yeah, it's basically really crazy to think that they were like playing the game without me knowing. But I mean, sure. That's, what's crazy is that once this BBC article got published on the 30th of September 2022, actually a whole bunch, a wa basically a wave of different articles from different news companies posted the exact same thing. I'll show you. So here you can see like I posted this in uh, one of my Discord servers. You'll see like a bunch of links to these big uh, news companies. If you click on them, you'll basically like see more articles with the exact same context, like the exact same words, the exact same, basically the exact same article, but saying that it was made by the BBC, like giving them credit. So they basically just repost a BBC article because apparently it was so hot topic that they just had to repost it on every single other, uh, other news company. So here you see I'm on The Star. I don't know what kind of news article that is, but I'm, I've heard it before, it's pretty big, but uh, that's what it is. Um, and here you see it's my TikTok video, and it basically like repeats what the BBC says. And now if we're gonna go to another article, the gamer or play UA, whatever that whatever that is, I don't really read uh, news articles or news websites. You'll see the exact same thing. And basically, if you search up Larkiv on any search engine, Larkiv, if you search up the name Larkiv, and we can even do Roblox for more things that come up. If you search up Larky Roblox, you'll see all these different like articles and Twitter posts and and forum posts about this game of mine that was feature that was banned by Roblox and it was just really crazy that they all like all at once did that. And you also not only that, you also find more things. Roblox steps into the Ukraine conflict. Roblox removes community-made mini games referencing the Ukraine-Russian war. Games such as Battle for Ukraine and War on Larkiv Ukraine mm -hmm. had over 100,000 plays and 5 million views on TikTok mm -hmm. before being taken down. Mm -hmm. Follow for more. Don't know what to say to that, but anyways, all these all these people really like, they made a big deal out of it. I don't know what it was, but uh. If you're wondering how it went after, I basically launched another game called Petropol, War on Petropol. It's basically the same thing. No, not the same thing at all. It's doing quite well, I guess. It's, uh, I released it, I released the game somewhere in November. It's active and we're constantly working on it. And guys, uh, I'm going to be giving away 2,000 Robux to someone who comments, likes the video, comments on the video, likes the video, and joins my Discord server. Join my Discord server so we can get in touch. D uh, DM me, send me a DM on Discord if uh, it's to be part of the giveaway. And guys, unlike other content creators on this platform, I actually give the winner the, uh, the 
reward promised so so you can really make a chance to win this if you just comment leave a like and join the discord server link down below um yeah anyways guys i hope that story was pretty cool i know a lot of you guys have been uh playing have been part of uh the lucas productions community so you guys know what know kind of what's been happening with what games have been banned you know what i have to say of it and stuff but yeah I've, i thought making a video of it would be really interesting for all of you guys since uh you guys are really all part of it because you guys are the players so yeah let me know what you guys think of this was it right of the BBC to do this? Am I in the wrong? Is the BBC in the wrong? Should the game have stayed? If, is Roblox in the wrong? I mean, I'd like to hear your point of view on this. No hate, of course. Just give your straight up opinions. I read all of it. I'm open, I'm open, I'm open to critical comments or positive comments, whatever it is. But um, but yeah, I'm, interesting that, I'm interested to hear your opinions. And uh, yeah, peace out, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.